You know, when I first met him, he called me Yo-Yo. Later on, I graduated to Ape. But everybody in town knew him as Beast. Once Beast and I had the name thing sorted out, we got along pretty good. I was going out to visit him one night. I was walking through the old town. It was the coldest night of the year. It was almost 50 below and dead calm. It was so cold, my spit froze before it hit the ground. All the nylon and plastic I was wearing was all stiff and crackly from the cold. As I was walking, I could hear this faint swishing sound. I had to stop and pull back the hood on my park, and I looked around, there wasn't anybody there. And there was no wind. It was only after I started walking again that I realized I was hearing the sound of my own breath crystallizing in the frigid night air as I walked through it. Wow, I cut through the flats, skid across Franklin Avenue, down past the dark and deserted warehouses on Ragged Ass Road, through the shanties and the shacks of the woodyard, uh, past the Silver Bullet, Kaminko Greggs, on my way to Beast One Room Shack, stuck out on the shore. The smoke was coming up out of the chimney. It was going straight up to join the northern lights that were swirling, dancing, and whipping through the star filled skies. All around Beast Shack, there was piles of junk all frosted over and half buried in the snow. Rusted, broken down pieces of machinery, sheets of metal, slabs of wood. And over here, a huge pile of firewood and a chopping block with his axe stuck in it. I could see a faint glimmer of candlelight coming from the shack's only window. So I walked up and I scraped the frost off and looked inside. I could see his airtight glowing red in the corner. There was a pile of Louis L'Amour paperback books, a package export A tobacco, ashtray, and a little transistor radio playing some uh, late night CBC classical music. <laughs> this was all piled on a Coca Cola crate that was turned on end at his bedside. His bed was an old wired together army cot. He was smothered in his five-star sleeping bag. And as I watched him, I had to wonder what he was dreaming about. Shh. And beast is sleeping. Yeah, he's all tired out from the miles of bedrock that he's drilled. Worked every camp, humped every rig, clean on up to the Arctic coast with all the other lost souls and ghosts. Each one has a story. If you read behind the eyes, you can see the stories left untold. You ask no questions, I'll tell no lies. So just drill for the goddamn gold. And just drill for the goddamn gold. Shh. Beast is sleeping. The first time in years. Survived the wars and he came back home. To see his sacrifice was in vain. Somewhere he lost the life he was living. Somehow he knew it would never be the same.
He started stringing the power lines Moved on to driving the white lines He worked his way north, went to 48 He found the rigs Or the rigs found him And he rode them hard for the pay Yeah, he rode them hard for the pay Dogs are too. It's one hell of a story I have to tell you. The sea had drove his dogs home the end of his shift, the dead of winter and the dark of night, to find some thieving bastard took his goddamn wood. So he cut the dogs loose and brought them all inside, poured a three finger shot, crawled in a sleeping bag. Took a while to warm up, but they all got to sleep. Yeah, come the next morning, the tale it was told. That's how they came to call the man beast. That's how they came to call the man beast. was a young man in his prime a little gold town in the middle of nowhere a fist full of money in the moulin rouge how much closer to heaven can a young man get from working 12 hour shifts three months straight out on the barren lands at 50 below he cursed through the blood and the sweat and the grease the end of his shift Smoking under the full moon, he dreamed of drilling the mother low. He dreamed of drilling the mother low. Shack up one last time. He called up a cab and bought a one way ticket, told him, Take me to the place my friends had gone before. The place my friends had gone before. It's Curly and Slugger, Wilfred and Jonas, been waiting for Beast for a long, long time. Drink some more whiskey, tell some more lies. Take all his money playing poker. The sun comes up, it's tomorrow, he goes to drill for the goddamn. 